Hi Year 3s, Mrs Baba. I am doing two videos this week for maths. The first one, which is this one, is on subtraction. We're going to look at um, subtracting near multiples of 10 and we're also going to look at counting on as a way of subtracting. So I'm going to share with you a PowerPoint. I'll share it with you now. So we're going to be subtracting near multiples of 10. That means that the number is very close to 10. So 9 and 11 are very close to 10. And 19 and 21 are really close to the multiple of 10, 20. So they're close to 20. So we're going to, first of all, look at subtracting 9. And we're going to be using a 100 square or a number square. So the first calculation is 55 take away nine. So remember nine is just one less than 10. So first thing that we need to do is find 55 on the 100 square and you can see it's circled in red. And then we're going to count back 10. And to count back 10, all we need to do is go up one square to 45. So now we've taken away 10, but we only need to take away 9. So we need to add on 1 so that we've only taken away 9. So we need to move to the right one space. So move forward one space to 46. And just to double check this, we can check we can start at 55 and count backwards 9 and see if we get the same answer. So we've got 55, I'm counting back 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We get the same answer, 46. So 55 take away nine is 46. Right, we're going to have a go now at subtracting 11. So we're going to do 64 take away 11. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to find 64 on the 100 square. And you can see that it's circled in red. And then we're going to take 10 away. So to take 10 away, we move up one square to 54. But we don't want to just take 10 away, we want to take 11 away. So we need to take one more away. So we move back one square, which takes us to 53. So the answer is 53. And we can double check this. So we start at 64 and we count back 11 squares just to see if it's the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's the same. So sixty-four take away eleven is fifty-three. Now we're going to have a go at taking away, subtracting nineteen. So fifty-five subtract nineteen. So the first thing we need to do is find 55 on the number square. It's circled in red. And then this time, instead of just taking 10 away, we're going to take 20 away because 19 is one less than 20. So we're going to move up two squares because every time you move up, it is 10. So let's have a go. So 10, 20. But we don't want to take 20 away, we want to take 19 away. So we need to add on one because 19 is one less than 20. So we've taken one too many away, so we have to add on one. So we move it one square forward and that takes us to 36. So the answer is 36. 55 take away 19 equals 36. And this is really similar to the last one, but instead of take when we took nine away, but instead of taking just 10 away, we took 20 away. So we're going to now have a look at taking 21 away. We're going to look at subtracting 21, which is really similar to when we subtracted 11. But instead of taking one 10 away, we're going to take two. So the first thing we need to do is find 64 on the number square, circled in red, and then we're going to count back two squares, sorry, we're going to count up 
two squares because remember each time you move up you're counting up in tens you're counting back in tens so let's count back 20 10 20. now we don't want to just take 20 away we want to take 21 away so we need to take one more away so we need to move back one square which takes us to 43. so 64 take away 21 is 43. Right, we're going to have a look now at counting up or counting on to help us with subtraction. And Frog is going to help us doing this because he's good at hopping forward. And we're going to use a number line to help us with this. The idea is that we're finding the difference between two numbers, the space between the two numbers. And we're going to start at the smaller number and count up to the bigger number. And then we're going to find out the space in between how much he has jumped. So here we are, we've got a number line with beads on to help us. So the calculation is 72 take 37. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to put 37 on the number line and 72. And don't forget, Frog's going to help us. So we've got 37 and 72. Then the first thing we need to do is we need to we're at 37 and we're going to find this space in between what the difference is. So we need to count up to the next 10 after 37, which is 40. And that is from 37 to 40 is 3. Then we need to count the up the 10s up to the 10 before 72. And the 10 before 72 is 70. So we need to count in tens, 10, 20, 30. So to jump from 40 to 70, it is 30. And then Frog needs to jump to 72. So from 70 to 72, he has to jump two. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to add up all these jumps that he has done. So it's the easiest way is to start with the biggest number first, 30, then add three, then add two. So we're going to add all those together. So 30, add three, 33, add two is 35. So 72 take away 37 is 35. Right, let's have a go now without the beads, but with the number line. So the calculation is the same again, 72 take or subtract 37. It's just the same one as last time, but without the beads. So we put the 37 on and the 72. Then Frog is going to jump to the next 10 after 37, which is 40, and that is three. So 37, 38, 39, 40, it's three. And then we're going to count up to the 10 before 72, which is 70. So we're going to count in tens, 10, 20, 30. So it's 30 tens between 40 and 70. And then Frog's going to jump to 72 and he needs to jump 71, 72, so he's jumping two. And then we add the three numbers together, starting with the largest, so 30, add three, add two. And again, it is 35. 72 take away 37 equals 35. Right, let's have another go, but with a different sum. Again, using the number line. So we've got 55, subtract 38. So let's have a think, what's the first thing that we need to do? We need to put the two numbers on the number line. So we need to put 38 and 55 on the number line. Then we need to 
jump from 38 to the first 10 after 38, which is 40. And to do that, we need to jump to 38, 39, 40. So frog's going to jump to, then we jump to the 10 before 55, which is 50. So 40, 50, that's one 10. And then frog needs to jump to 55. So that is 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, he has to jump five. So now all we need to do is add the numbers together, starting with the largest number first. So 10, add 5, add 2. And that is 10, add 5 is 15, add 2 is 17. So 55 take away 38 equals 17. 55 subtract 38 equals 17. Right, let's have a try at two more sums. So we've got 78 minus 44 and 54 subtract 23. So I wonder if you could have a go at doing this one on your own. Now, you could stop the video and then we will go through and look at the answer. So if you'd like to stop the video now and have a go. Okay, well done year threes, if you've had a go at that, let's see if you got it right. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to put 44 and 78 on the number line. Now we're going to, first of all, count to the nearest 10, which is 50. So we're going to count on from 44 to 50 you could use your number bonds to do this rather than your fingers so you may know that to get from 44 to 50 is 6 so you need to jump on 6 and then we're going to count on in tens till we get to the 10 before 78 which is 70 so we're going to count on from 50 10 20 and that gets us to 70. And then frog needs to jump to 78. So you might know that between 70 and 78, he's got to jump up eight. Then we need to add the three numbers together, starting with the biggest first. So 20, add eight, add six. So 20, add eight is 28, add six is 34. So 78 take 44 is 34. Okay, so let's have a see if you can have a go at this one now. So we've got 54 minus 23. 54 subtract 23. 54 take away 23. It's all the same. All means all means subtract. So if you'd like to stop the video and have a go at that now. Okay, well done year three. If you've had a go at that, let's have a look at how well you've done. Let's see if you've done it correctly. So first of all, we need to put 23 and 54 on the number line. Then we're going to jump from 23 to 30. So I'm sure you all know that to get from 23 to 30, it is seven. So frog needs to jump seven. Then we, frog needs to jump to the 10 before 54, which is 50. So he's going to jump 10, 20. And then he needs to jump from 50 to 54. So there's four between 50 and 54. Then we need to add the three numbers together, starting with the biggest first. So 20, add 7, add 4. So 20, add 7 is 27, add 4 is 31. So 54, take away 23, equals 31. 
well done year three so if you have done both of those and you've got most of it right or all of it right so well done Right, hopefully that will help you with the first three days of next week with your, subtra with your subtraction work. So good luck with that. I'm sure you'll do well and I'll see you soon. Bye.